get a better flow on offense to start the basketball game. You know, we've been starting off pretty well defensively in our last few games, but our offense has been a little bit stagnant because personally I felt we were a little bit too much individualistic as far as going one-on-one -on -one at the start. Today we just wanted to get into the flow. We called a lot of team plays to start the game to make sure that everybody got their touches and whoever had the best shot would take the best shot. So I thought we did a much better job today offensively in the first half, which really, you know, fueled our defense. Do you think this, uh, this kind of game so far from the ideal team? Well, that, that's the challenge. The challenge is to try to be as consistent as, as possible. Um, you know, the, you know, as the season goes on, there's a tendency to uh, your, your attention or your concentration kind of wanes a little bit as far as um, what we're trying to accomplish. Um, I don't want to wait till we get to the final four to be able to be at the peak of our game. I think we should try to stay as close to the peak as we can right now in the elimination round. So I uh, really challenge the players today. Let's play more as a team, better as a team to start the basketball game. I don't know if you guys noticed, but the last two games, I think we had five assists in the first half, six assists in the first half, and then we came back and had 18, 19 assists for the game, which means we played much better as a team in the second half. So um, that's, that's really the focus right now. Coach, I know it's early, but are you giving it a thought, a sweep, a possible price to beat the <coughs> No, no, no. Not no, yet? No, no. <laughs> How many times we'll give that a thought if we're 13 and 0? <laughs> and then we'll start thinking about that. Coach, uh, UE on Thursday, since they're coming off a morale boosting win. Yeah, I'm going to have to study that tape because uh, they were in a 2 2 1 zone almost the entire game, and it was very effective against the LaSalle team, and they forced a lot of turnovers, so. Uh, we certainly cannot let down our guard against Shui. Coach, how about Nico? Uh, Nico was one of the players I was referring to. I think he just really surrendered to the flow of the offensive game today, and it really benefited him, benefited him a lot more as far as getting good looks at the basket. And he did a very good job offensively for us. Coach, um, just how good your team is? <sighs> I don't know. I mean, it's, it's pretty obvious to me at this point that um, we're, we're more talented than the team that won the championship last year um, because um, when we're on our game, um, you know, we, can, we play pretty well offensively and defensively. Um, of course, we haven't won anything this year, so that other team last year still has an edge over us. But at the same time, you know, Greg gives us such a, a dominating presence inside, even if he doesn't score. Uh, the fact that we can just dump the ball down to him at any time and the fact that most teams have to foul him. Um, and it normally means other teams getting into penalty early, mainly because he's such a presence inside. He's, you know, even on our pick and rolls, if we involve Greg in the pick and roll, when we come off of that pick and roll, that guy guarding Greg does not want to leave him anymore. Unlike on other teams, they really show hard on pick and rolls, they trap pick and rolls. Nobody wants to leave Greg, so it actually opens it up for his other, other teammates. So even if he's not scoring, he's, he gives us such an advantage inside the paint. Coach, what did you tell your bench? You put him in pretty early. Uh, 6.47, I think, left in the game. Well, we made some adjustments after you guys kept complaining about my bench. <laughs> 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 we normally try to mix it up now. We put some of the bench players with the starters, and then it's a good combination of balance. So they're not out there by themselves too long. Normally it's only a couple of minutes that the bench is out there by themselves. So uh, that has helped us a lot. Coach, um, 